Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of the Virtual Lab series of video blog presentations on various diverse scientific computing topics. As you can see here, the title of today's presentation is on the topic of the random structure search approach for first principles crystal structure prediction calculations. This presentation is provided by Virtual Lab, the company behind the development of the Materials Square online platform. Materials Square is entirely dedicated to assisting and encouraging researchers from across the world to perform atomistic computational simulations on a wide range of materials science and molecular chemical modeling applications, directly via our integrated powerful cloud computing resources, being entirely online based, and executable via any basic web browser interface on any device with internet access. The Materials Square platform makes it possible to execute such complex simulations and calculations without the need to install any complicated scientific code locally on your machine, and without the need to have expensive supercomputing clusters at your immediate disposal. Our supported atomistic simulation functionalities and solutions are mainly based on well-established scientific computational techniques such as density functional theory and classical molecular dynamics, and have a very broad range of useful applications in computational chemistry and materials science R&D, which are thus ideally suited for both industrial and academic users from around the globe. We invite our viewers to please consult our products and services offered via the Materials Square platform by visiting its corresponding website, which is www.matsq.com, as noted also in the video description below. Let us begin our main scientific presentation today, on the topic of crystal structure prediction methods via first principles computational techniques. The famous 1988 editorial in Nature by John Maddox stated, One of the continuing scandals in the physical sciences is that it remains in general impossible to predict the structure of even the simplest crystalline solids from a knowledge of their chemical composition. Many applications in science, technology and engineering R&D rely on the continuous discovery of new materials with exceptional levels of performance, in terms of certain key relevant properties, Crystal structure is arguably the most important piece of information about a material, as it determines, directly or indirectly, pretty much all properties of a material even before the material is synthesized experimentally. Knowing the structure, one can in fact compute a large number of desirable physical properties, thus establishing the crucial importance of crystal structure prediction, or CSP, methods for computational materials design and discovery. For each potential chemical composition, there are in general a very large number of possible atomic arrangements that can, in principle, be obtained in the laboratory, corresponding to all possible local minima of the free energy landscape of the material under consideration. All such phase stability possibilities are scattered across a very complex high-dimensional configuration space, making their retrieval and identification via CSP techniques particularly challenging. So, where is the global free energy minimum, corresponding to the most stable crystalline phase at given external pressure and temperature conditions? This would in fact correspond to the material structure most likely to be encountered experimentally for the particular chemical composition under consideration. The image displayed here shows an example of the ground state energy landscape surface for single crystal silicon, computed with ab initio density functional theory methods. The global energy minimum at ambient conditions, corresponding to the equilibrium cubic diamond phase of silicon, is clearly visible at the top right corner of this projection. The beta tin phase, which becomes the most stable at higher pressures, at around 120 kilobars, also appears as a metastable phase within such ambient conditions energy plot, in the form of a local energy minimum. Considering the high costs and complexity associated with the experimental synthesis of newly discovered materials, before the performance of a new material can be assessed, its crystalline structure and thermodynamic stability must therefore be well understood. Hence the key role played by computation-based novel materials discovery and CSP methods. These can be both ab initio methods, 
as well as methods driven by artificial intelligence and data mining techniques applied to existing materials databases. There are in general numerous online materials databases. Some of these contain only the experimentally verified and well-known crystal structures, including their interesting properties. For exam. PLE the Cambridge Crystallographic Data Center, or CCDC, and the Inorganic Crystal Structure Database, or ICSD. Other databases, on the other hand, include the computed properties of both known as well as hypothetical materials. This latter category of databases lends itself very well for CSP applications, aimed at discovering and assessing new materials, especially in terms of their stability, synthesizability potential and associated interesting physical and chemical properties. Some of the most important and comprehensive databases based on DFT ab initio calculations are the Open Quantum Materials Database, or OQMD, the A-Flow Database Framework for Materials Discovery, and the Materials Project. These databases are continuously populated with newly predicted material structures obtained via such first principles computations, which allows for a relatively straightforward screening of desired physical properties using a combination of high-throughput ab initio calculations and, increasingly, statistical and machine learning-based approaches, Particularly popular approaches towards CSP include the use of evolutionary genetic algorithms, for example via the code U-spec or XTOL opt, and particle swarm optimization techniques. In the present article, we focus however on an alternative CSP approach based on the A-flat initio random structure searching, or AIRSS, method, conceived and developed mainly by Chris Picard and Richard Needs from the University of Cambridge, AIRSS represents an effective and conceptually simple method for structure prediction, which allows for an extensive scanning of the material's configurational space, and has proven successful for predicting a wide range of new materials. This approach is based on the generation of large numbers, typically thousands, of random crystal structures, followed by their structural optimization and relaxations computation as implemented typically through the CASTEP ab initio DFT code. This allows to find all the polymorphs corresponding to free energy local and global minima at a given applied pressure, through an effective Monte Carlo-style sampling of the material's configurational space. In this way, AIRSS enables the prediction of new thermodynamically stable and metastable pH. As is of that particular material, Synthesis and characterization experiments can then be targeted at the most promising of all such predicted phases. The diagram shown here summarizes the CSP approach implemented by AIRSS to explore the configurational space of a certain material compositions using random statistical sampling. As explained, this allows for the discovery of interesting free energy local and global minima corresponding to the experimentally realistic stable and metastable phases of the material in question. Beyond the ease of its implementation, AIRSS presents several additional important advantages. Firstly, individual structural relaxation calculations are completely independent of each other, and therefore they can all be run simultaneously, thus making the algorithm easily parallelizable and scalable on powerful supercomputers, Secondly, AIRSS allows for the straightforward application of preliminary structural constraints, such as for example the application of space group symmetries and minimal interatomic distances, which reduce the initial search space to the most experimentally relevant and realistic random structures. This accelerates significantly the computational prediction process of new stable and metastable crystalline phases for the material composition under consideration. This brings us to the conclusion of our presentation. Many thanks for your attention, and we recommend once more to please give a try to our Materials Square online platform for executing atomistic materials and chemical computations directly on the cloud, by visiting its website at www.materialsquare.com. Please do not hesitate to contact us by email, as shown here on this slide.
In case you would like to obtain further information on the various R&D services and solutions that we provide at Virtual Lab. Many thanks again for your interest and your consideration.